Hello everyone, welcome to another video and uh, today I want to show you my custom script again it's a custom script uh, which can make uh, conduits from cable tray pad so the thing is we must uh, use this pad which we have for the cable tray and the script works both for the channel type of the cable tray and those ladder type of the cable tray or any other type of the cable trays which you have uh, also uh, those ladder type cable trays are on the level one with some height and uh, those cable trays uh, channel cable trays are on the level two again on some height and now uh, basically we need at first to create conduit run uh, then i have second part of the script uh, and i will show you also that uh, that part of the script is uh, here to enable let's say semi-automatic uh, population of the values for those conduit run parameters like from to and uh, circuit number so let's see this first part of the script here it is so uh, it is quite simple user interface so we need to select some cable trays for example let's select this section over here so we need conduit going from here all the way up to here uh, and we did select those cable trays selection automatically uh, create a filter and it will select just cable trays now we need to select uh, a conduit without fitting why without fitting because uh, conduits without fitting can create conduit run conduits with fitting cannot create so and we need conduit running because we need to know uh, the land with the fittings so we want to approximate uh, all elbows uh, to be included in the land so i don't know i will select this first type and i can enter any conduit size for example let's go with uh, 21 i will set values so let's let's uh, take a look of the schedule and this is this is a schedule so uh, instead of one conduit run i have two conduit run we will check why is that and also i did that those parameters for this second part of the script but before that let's take a look where is that section so over here we have uh, for some reason uh, splitted conduit run so this we can easily fix with trim so i will just trim those two conduits and now we should have only one yeah now it's only one conduit run that is okay uh, also the thing which i need to tell you right away it's uh, this situation over here where you have this like eccentric uh, reduction so the center uh, for this cable tray is here uh, the center point of this fitting is over here so sometimes when you have those eccentric uh, reduction you will have some conduit with uh, which will try to follow those centers from uh, each side when you have a uh, reduction at the center you will not have those kind of problems also sometimes if we follow this route over here uh, sometimes the band radius will uh, will will create some uh, clashes but of course you can go manually and change band radius where uh, you find that that is necessary or you can select all conduits and change all elbows for example the same thing over here so i can change that radius again same story here but okay now we have one conduit on the center of that cable tray pad and the thing which is very difficult for dynamo at least for me is to offset this pad uh, according to all possible planes and directions in this case but very simple solution for that is to just use this native parallel conduits option so if you need to have one more or two more conduits uh, so two horizontal with uh, offset let's go with 60 we can use concentric band radius okay use minimum band radius and we can go over here and now we we did uh, create those additional 
conduits very easily. Again, here you will need to adjust that band radius, but you can also do that part very, very easily. Okay, and that is for this channel type of the cable tray. You can see that I didn't type any height. Uh, the script automatically recognized the height. So let's go one more time with this ladder type of, of the cable tray. We need to select cable trays. Let's go maybe something like this. And also select this. Uh, fitting type, let's go and let's leave it to 35. So the script will work, I think in any case, uh, in a less than a second. So it's a really, really quick script uh, same problem over here with that conduit split so now we have all of this in one cable tray run uh, also, also in this case i think that the conduit followed the path of the cable tray very well okay and again same story if you need to have uh, one or two or ten uh, conduits uh, more I will use this parallel conduit option. I will increase a little bit this offset. Yeah, use minimum band radius. And really, really quickly, we have conduit runs. If we check one, two, three, four, five, six, so we have six conduit runs. And now if we want to test this uh, second part of the story, this second script, I can run this script. The script actually, will populate very easily uh, those three parameters. And the thing uh, is why this uh, script is so easy to use. Uh, at first, you need to select any conduit. So if we want to um, add a values for those parameters over here, <clears throat> we can click on any conduit in this conduit run. So I can click on this conduit, or I don't know, I can click on this conduit. I click finish. So from, I don't know, room number one to room number three, and I don't know, circuit name one, for example. Set values. Let's go to schedule. We have those parameters. If we highlight that conduit run, yeah, it is that conduit run. Uh, if we run the script again for, I don't know, this conduit run in the middle over here again we can select any conduit okay finish from i don't know seven to nine con uh, name of the circuit i don't know 12 set values okay let's let's highlight that conduit run yeah it's conduit run in the middle and that is it. Uh, this is a custom script. You can order either this script or any similar script on my website. And thank you for watching. Bye.